All right, so in this video, we're going to be doing some practice with finding scalar and vector projections, okay? So in the last video, we went over kind of what the component, uh, also known as the scalar projection and the uh, vector projection actually are, okay, and what, you know, what they're representing. And now we're just going to be doing some more practice finding them both. So finding the scalar and vector projections of B, which is negative three comma two comma negative three, and that's gonna be, it's B onto vector A, which is seven, two, one. All right, so first thing we need to do, well, let's start off with the component of B onto A, okay? That's also known as the scalar projection, okay? This is A dot B over the magnitude of A. So two parts to this. First, we need to find A dot B, and then we're gonna find the magnitude of A. So A dot B, this is going to be 7, 2, 1, dot negative 3 to negative 3. All right. And we have 7 times negative 3. That's going to be negative 21. 2 times 2 is going to be 4. And 1 times negative 3 will be negative 3. And this will get us to just a negative 20. All right. So now we just have to find the magnitude of A. And that is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares. Okay, the sum of the squares of the components. So we got 7 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. And that's going to be equal to, well, we have a 49 plus 4. That's going to be 53 plus 1. That'll be 54. So we get a rad 54. All right. So now we know that the component of B onto A is negative 20 over rad 54. Okay, now this component is negative. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that the projection of B onto A is pointing in the opposite direction of the vector A itself. Okay, so that's why the magnitude is negative of the component. All right, moving on to the projection here. Okay, all we're doing now is we're squaring the denominator of our component, and then we're going to multiply it by vector a, and that's literally it. Okay, the projection, not super hard to find. Now, if you're having trouble remembering this formula, okay, literally just realize that you're, you know, and I explained this in the explanation video, you're multiplying the component by a unit vector, okay, because the unit vector has length one and it's it has direction okay and that direction is giving you a vector okay not just you know like as a vector has magnitude and direction and with that unit vector you're putting on direction without taking away the length because the unit vector has a length of one okay so the projection is going to equal just it's going to be negative 20 over 54 Okay, so no square root now because we're squaring it. And we're going to multiply by 7, 2, 1. All right. So now before we multiply through, I guess we could simplify a little bit to get negative 10 over, this will be a 20, holy crap, 7. There we go. <laughs> negative 10 over 27. And then we have the vector 7, 2, 1. So now distributing this, okay, we have a negative, no, yeah, we will. Negative 70 over 27. Then we're going to have comma, negative 20 over 27. And then we'll have comma, negative 11 over 27, right? And that is your projection of B onto A. And that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors in the geometry of space, the explanation video for scalar and vector projections, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you, consider supporting me on my Patreon, which I have linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.